Que que, don't move, no te muevas, because in just a few minutes, we will be hanging out with the inventor of the scratch, Grand Wizard Theodore. And if that's not enough, with the queen of East Harlem's dance scene, Violeta Galagarza. Yeah, yo, they're gonna be in the house with us as we hear Quick to Rock. Okay. Let's go, stay tuned. Okay, vamos para allá. Welcome, one and all. I am your host, Rockefeller, and he is... Quick Step, and we are Quick to Rock. Quick to Rock is a hip-hop variety talk show providing a glance into the underground artists who are keeping the legacy of hip-hop, street, and club culture alive. The show will feature interviews with and performances by local dancers, poets, DJs, and artists, in addition to pre-recorded clips of national hip-hop and club culture jams. Graffiti art photos round out the scope of our entertaining knowledge drop found in each episode. Now, this show right here is brought to you through the Creators Rebuild New York program in collaboration with Bronx Print Television. That's right, that's right. This has been a dream, years in the making, and we are so happy to actually step into it with y'all, our dance family here in New York City and beyond. Yo, we were the underground kings and queens who are quick to rock all of the time, nonstop from the block, coming at you from around the way to be heard around the world. And so, without further delay, we are so honored to present our first guest, the legendary Grand Wizard Theodore, the inventor of the scratch and the needle drop technique, hitting the turntables right now. Let's go. Thank this you. guy. Thank you. That thank got you. me hyped. Thank man. you. Thank you. You always make me want to just jump in and dance, man. I gotta, I gotta chill. I gotta let the music breathe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, know, right? This is like hip hop fam right here. This is my hip hop uncle. Me too. Thank this you. is my thank DJ you. uncle. Me thank too. you. Thank I hope you. You know you got a nephew and a niece right here. <laughs> That's okay. right. Just let me say that um, I'm so happy for you guys that you guys got a platform here at Bronxnet okay. to do thank this. You, uh, to you know, to teach people about the history, yeah. you know, because yeah. we don't know where we're going unless we know where we've been. Thank you. And for yeah. you guys to have this platform, 
Congratulations. Oh, Thank you, know, you brother. And I wish you guys to have this show for, for 50 years. Hey, 50, because, <laughs> you know, brother. we're like Thank 20. You. We're like 21. Thank so, you, you so know. much. We're going to take a quick break, but when we return, we're going to sit and speak with the legend behind the turntable about his journey from back then to now. So for now, you know what? Take us out with some of the goodness, um, yeah. Just sit, yeah, hit it again. Take us out, cause those beats right there were like, you better be shazamming. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Other than the man, the myth, the legend himself, Grand Wizard Theodore. Oh my goodness. Peace, Thank peace, you so peace. much for gracing and blessing us with the beats and the techniques. But I do have to ask you, were you rocking vinyl just now? Because, you know, I didn't Absolutely. see no MP3. <laughs> so you prefer the vinyl sometimes? Tell us about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, before I switched to vinyl, it was like, um, you know, before I switched to, you know, computers and stuff like that, you know. It's just getting on the airplane and stuff like that. You can't really take crates or records on the airplane with you. So, you know, the... Okay, convenience. Yeah, yeah, it's just the convenience and stuff like that. It's best to, you know, be able to go, you know, both ways with the vinyl okay. and the laptop and stuff like that. So that's when I, you know, make the transition. Mm -hmm. I hear that. And, and do, am I incorrect? Were you working with Serato at some point? Like, were they trying to, like, tap into like the science behind DJ and when it started to turn digital, were they calling you? Absolutely, um, they called a lot of um, uh, DJs and stuff like that because when you're putting out a product like that, it's very important to get input from all the DJs around the world because these are the DJs that's gonna be using it, right, right. you know? So it's very, very important and you wanna make sure that this product, which definitely changed the game, Oh, yeah. You want to make sure that this product is good and, is, and, is, and it stands the test of time because so many DJs are going to be using it and I'm just so happy to be a part of it, you know? How were you able to move with the times? Um, wow, that's a good question. Um, how I was able to move with the times is just, I have to keep reinventing myself. I have mm. to keep, um, if I go, say I travel to Japan or China, and I had to do an hour set. Ooh. I would probably do a half an hour with my laptop, and then the last half an hour, I would close my laptop and do the last half an hour with, with the records mm -hmm. so that people can see me do the vinyl and the laptop and stuff like that. So Tradition and technology, nice. Yeah, I think that's very important because um, here it is, um, 2023 is gonna be 50 years 50 of hip hop. Oh my goodness. But I am only celebrating 47 years Oh, how's of that? Of hip hop. Right. How's that? Because I've only been in hip hop for 47 years. Okay. okay you got okay. people like Cool Herc, uh, Grandmaster Flash, okay. um, 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 DJ Breakout and Baron, okay. and so many other DJs that have been uh, uh, doing hip hop before I was. I see. And um, they're going to be celebrating 50 years, and I'm going to be celebrating with them. But I'm only going to be celebrating 47 years of hip-hop because I've only been in hip-hop for 47 years. All right. Know? Well, that's fair. That's definitely fair. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I hear that. Was there anything you wanted to maybe tell aspiring DJs now? Like, you know, a little advice coming from the <laughs> guru. All right? Wow, absolutely. Um, I work at the DJ Scratch Academy, um, right. um, which was founded by Jam Master J. Um, God bless him. Rest in and peace. Rob Principi. And... Um, when he did his second class, um, he actually asked me to come down and, and, and teach the second class and stuff like that. And, um, you know, and, and then he passed away and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we kept the um, Scratch Academy <coughs> going. Okay. So um, I've been there for like 22 years now. I can't believe it. Wow. I'm the oldest employee there. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. I hope they give you a raise. I think I had Jerry <laughs> Curls when I went there. I think I had Wave oh. or something like that. So I don't have that now. <laughs> but, um, you know, I would just tell DJs, like, when you, when you start DJing, just make sure you know about 
the where it came from right. in order to know where it's going. Um, when you learn how to DJ, make sure you learn on the vinyl mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. before you go to the controllers and the, the, the serato and everything like that. And then it'll make you a better DJ. Just don't go straight to the controllers and call yourself a DJ. You have to touch the turntables, man. Ain't nothing like touching the turntables, man. Okay. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So just make sure that you, you know, know everything it is to know about DJing. Keep it open general. Just don't play hip hop all day. Okay. Play Motown. Play bachata. Oh, play salsa. Bachata, play merengue. Play oh, perate, perate. 80s. Play every you get kind down of with music bachata anywhere. Too? What? Absolutely, really? absolutely. Oh. I like the old bachata and I like the old salsa. You know, hey. like El Gran Combo hey. and stuff like El that. Gran and, you know, que, que. Mochito and all hey. I like all Mochito. that stuff. You know, but I like the old stuff and stuff like that. So that. That. just make sure that you learn about where it's been in order to know where it's going and, and to make yourself a, 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 a better DJ. Listen, mm -hmm. um, there's like a clip I want to show <laughs> because you were on this like United Hip Hop Vanguard tour this year. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're going to really quickly go to a video of a trip you took to Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, wow. All right, let's just check that out. Time's up. You lack some minerals and vitamins. Iron's in the niacin. Hard that I affair. Rapper sit back, I'm about to begin. Bow, foul, talk your squall. Never even walk the wall. More or less destined to get tested. Never been arrested. My album will matter. When you first get into hip hop, it's all about you. It's all about my style. It's all about getting looked at. It's all about attention. It's all about am I good? It's all about overcoming my fears. It's all about all of that. That's what it's about when you first get into hip hop. But if you stay in it long enough and reach out deeper and go past all those things, then you find out it's not about you. It's about your ability to connect a bunch of people. That's why we're still here. what you consider an image. To me, this is just a I feel I'm stone. Tell me that wasn't a hot video. You were all up in there. They gave you so much light. They yes, loved you yes, in Cleveland, yes, Ohio. Yes, 10K, I love, I love 10K Cleveland. 10K movement was good. Face, face, face. All right, Nerve Studios. Who was that? Uh, Forrest Gump. Who else was there? Yes, Johnny yes, O. Yes, yes, yes. You know? I love Cleveland. It's like Cleveland Um, Cleveland has a, a, a rich hip-hop history, oh, yeah. and I'm so glad that they, you know, took us to the... Um, they took us to the tattoo parlor. We got to see That's a lot right. of the stuff at the tattoo parlor. That's right. They did a barbecue for us and stuff like they that. Did. And you know, Cleveland has a lot of hip hop, and I'm so happy that they shared their early days of hip hop with us. That's very important. I'm so happy, Cleveland, that you shared that with us. Thank you so very much. Yeah, and um, you know, the United Hip Hop Vanguard is a little something that me and Quick Step and Asia One, you know, Asia oh, One, Asia one we put, put that together. We got B-Boy House Asia as well. And so I have a little gift for you. Oh, man. Yes. Come on. Because it's not even my birthday. Every, Come on. Today, every day oh, is your birthday. Man. We celebrate in Theodore every day. Every day. Oh, this, this is, is so cool. This is a piece done by House and a couple other heads House. out there. Oh, man. When we went to Phoenix, Arizona, we gave this shirt to everyone House who cool participated. People. Oh, look at that. Those are all the places that we went to. Factory. That's oh, it. Denver man. was good. Furious good. Styles. Hey, oh, B-Boy right. Summit. That's it. Oh my gosh, and I had so, so much fun. This is for you. Yo, this is so cool. I put away the food town bag. Yo, and you didn't see that. Gum. You didn't see oh, that. Oh man, Bam. pro am. Oh, this right. is so cool. Because we love this Thank gentleman right here. Thank you so right very here. much. This is really cool. It really I like was. This. A, it was a cool tour, but there were some crazy moments, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is so. You ain't lying. Thank you so very much. So, and where do we find you? How do we follow? How do they follow? Because I know how to call you up, but how do they follow you and be up on your next events wow. and your music? Um, I'm yeah. very easy to find. You, you punch in Grand Wizard Theater on your computer, you know, you can, my IG page is um, the, real. the Real Grand Wizard Theater, and then my Facebook page is, uh, is Theodore Livingston. I have to change that because of IRS purposes. No, oh, I <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty much easy to find. Um, I'm always at the Scratch Academy. I'm always um, touring around the, um, the uh, 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 United States uh, doing classes with kindergarten, first graders, second graders, um, um, college students, any, any school that wants me to come and talk and, 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 do, a, um, and do a DJ demo Holla. and stuff like that. You can, you can catch me at grandwizard73 at gmail.com. And I can come to your school wherever you at. I can come to it, no problem. All right. So now you know how to reach him. If you're Grand Wizard. If you're curious about the Vanguard, it's United Hip Hop Vanguard on IG. And I guess we're gonna just keep 
in touch with the legend because next year is the 50th and so I'm sure Grand Wizard Theatre will be everywhere. So mm. pay attention as we celebrate. Thank you so much for being our first guest on the Quick to Rock show. Yes, we'll be yes. right back with more. Quick step, let's go. Let's get some beats going. Oh. quick to rock. Now in this part of the show, we're gonna take a moment just to go a bit deeper into the music with the behind the groove section with Quick Step. What you got for us today, man? Well, you know, I always love to dance to good music, man. And you know, sometimes it, you know, makes me wonder whether the record was like a radio hit, why it was a radio hit, okay. is it an underground gem? You know, what, and what makes it that thing? Right. So behind this right here, you know, when we get behind the groove, it's all about the funk, because funk is what made hip hop and house, right? Hey, hey, funk. So right here, we're gonna get into I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. I know that song. Now, what people don't realize, the person playing the harmonica, if you listen to this, I like that song right there. That's, That's right? a good one. Now, harmonica brings them to a different level, and the one on the harmonica is actually Stevie Wonder. And a lot of people don't know that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I he was the that. one actually who, you know, was a big fan of, not was, still is a big fan of Shaka Khan. And that harmonica made a big difference, and it, it, breaks, it breaks everything down, right? Oh, yeah. So you go to the next section. Don't get me up, don't get me up, don't wow. get me started. Now check this out, and this part. Stevie Wonder. In the back room. That's Stevie Wonder, right? And I didn't was, know that, I thought was that was song. Shaka Khan. I thought she was getting the crowd hype. Say yeah! And that's no? from, from a song called Fingertips. Who and song? I believe uh, Stevie Wonder song oh, wow. called Fingertips, right? And so, you know, they were actually sampling way back then and making sure that people understood that they were roots to who was, you know, singing. And so all of these people were connected. So on the dance floor, that makes you connected. So when you're listening to who this is, you're like, hmm, I wonder who that is. You ask the DJ, who is that? Oh, that's Stevie Wonder, along with Shaka Khan. And that's a sample of Stevie Wonder when he was playing, I believe, at the Apollo. Oh, my goodness. So then what I did is I did something like this. I took those same samples Shaka from the original Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder uh, and I did this. Watch this. Check it out. So that's Stevie Wonder at the Apollo saying the clap Apollo. your hands. Clap your hands with a song called Fingertips. But he also so, says in the song, say yeah. Say yeah, and it's all from the same song. And so they used that, that one part. So what I did is I made sure to cue up all the other parts, bring it back in. If I would do a remix, that's exactly how I would do it. Or something like that. That just blew my mind. So Stevie Wonder in a Shaka Khan song. But hold up, isn't there somebody rapping on that one? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get to that right now. Who's that? Who's that? Y'all know? I'm saying, that's crazy. That's crazy. So you got three amazing artists. Shaka Khan, Stevie Wonder, which I did not know was playing the harmonica, and that sample of him, and Melly Mel. And Melly Woo, Mel. No wonder So the collaboration on that is no wonder why it was a radio hit and a hit all over the clubs 
all around the world. And were there other covers? Were there covers of the song somewhere? Yeah. Um, the Point of Sisters did a cover. Look at that. Right? Uh, Reby Jackson oh, did a cover of that. One. Check and we that. saying covers because the original one who wrote that was none other than Prince. Check that out. Wow. So now you know why it is that you like get down. You can't help but get down to that song because it's a hit. It's just right. this conglomeration of power, soulful power. And that makes up our Behind, Behind the Groove the section. Segment. So you've got a little bit of a deep dive into that song. Quick step, wait, what is your SoundCloud? Because I'm sure you're dropping gems like that on your SoundCloud DJKS360 is my SoundCloud. And also you can catch my Instagram because sometimes I put up what I call a quick mix on my Instagram, DJKS360. Tune in. All right, we'll be right back with more Quick to Ride. Let's go, let's go. Oh, popping, what? Taco, what? Shabadoo, what? Shrimp. Feel the beat of nature at a park or forest near you. Find a forest and music inspired by nature at discovertheforest.org. Peace, y'all. What's up? My name is Rockefeller. Quick Sip, a.k.a. DJ KS360, and you're watching Quick to Rock. Quick to Rock here at Art Space PS109 by none other than Violeta Ooh, with KR3T. Say hi, say hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Welcome. Congrats. Oh, congrats to you. This beautiful lady here just had an anniversary show. Where was your show at? Riverside Theater Church. Ooh, I'm, you got to know that they put the best of the best on it. Right. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah. blessed. Doing it for God, right? Yeah, right. All Always. the time because God is good. All the time. All the time. And so she's not only a choreographer and a mentor, she's also a community organizer, event planning. So she wears many hats, many hats. We have so much respect for KR3Ts. How many years have, has KR3Ts been around? 32 years. I had my company since I was 17. In El Barrio. So you did this award ceremony. What was the hardest part? Because I noticed the behind the scenes during that evening. So give yeah. us a little tidbit of what was happening behind the scenes. Behind the scenes is making sure everybody comes. The host, the lighting, designers, the costumes that we get them on time, the dancers to be before time, warm up, nothing to be missed that we need. The, you know, the decorating part that happens behind the scenes, the prep, the talk, the tickets. discipline, the tickets. Guest list. Guest list, <laughs> yes. Z, can I get in? I know I didn't yes. VP, but can you just let me in? Because I just it's heard late. about it. It's too late. <laughs> and I'm gonna be an hour late. Right. I'm gonna come in for intermission. Let me in, V. <laughs> so no, it's really hard because you gotta make sure that the theme that you're putting out makes sense. Right, right. And our theme this year was the history of dance and that was educating everyone, every style of dance, every choreographer that specializes a different style represented that and was, was able to cater to the audience and our viewers to see what Dembo is, what Afrobeat is, what Life Feet is, um, hip hop, crumping, salsa, and there was a meaning be either mentioned or you saw the legends that came right through in that show Beautiful. or a presentation before the performance happened so that they absorb more information, the right information, and if they ever need to hire anyone, they know where the source, where to come. In New York, there's so many amazing teachers, choreographers who's done their work, That's earned true. their stripes, and those are the people they should be hiring, not the Instagram followers, right. over 100,000 to 2 million, and those people just took maybe a month of class, right. and right. they're teaching. Right. <laughs> so each production has its highlights. You were talking about a highlight earlier when we were just you know, in the background, right? What was the highlight? What was the highlight you were talking about? The highlight. <laughs> <laughs> the end of this. It was done. End, that's what that was my highlight. When it finished. <laughs> when it finished. Because I was like, because yeah. everybody like, aren't you excited? I'm like, how can I be excited? I'm still Work. working right. on it. Like, I'm trying to keep everybody happy. I'm trying to keep the dancers happy, right. the production, the guests that comes, our sponsors. There's so much that you got to deal with. There's no pause to be like, Oh, happy. No, that didn't happen with me. When it ended, I was like, okay. and still, it's and still, then, right? the end, I had to clean up. Watch the video. Right. Like, who, who I got to talk to it. Right. Who did that? Who did that? 
And every day. Make a phone call. Every day, because it was a three-night event. Five days after production. Yeah. Oh, now we got to go back earlier than what we planned to go because the lighting wasn't right or the sound system or tech. Not only know. it was one day, not two days, three, three days nights. of production. Yes. So you know we have to give her a spa card and a spa date so she can decompress. <laughs> for real, because I'm still waiting for that break. I actually went away yesterday. I came back, but it, I thought it was a break. Someone. Yeah, yes. I thought the only break I got was my hair. Weepa. They did my hair, but I really do need to take another break. I haven't, because after the show, we had other shows, the Apollo, we have FIT. You know, and then we had a deal with the dance giving event, and the dance giving is getting all the choreographers, amongst other dancers, sharing their stories or vibes, and just being at peace for once, not trying to show off. Well, Violeta has positioned herself as somebody who's a pillar in the community, the go to. Everybody knows who Violeta is and the work that KR3T has done for so many, how many years? 32? 32. 32 years since she was 17. So that takes a lot of work, sacrifice, blood, sweat, and tears. And that's why we're featuring her here in our show because we are trying to uplift the people who have been carrying the culture and looking out for people. And she's looked out for us. I danced. Yes. I was a KR3T. We looked out for, right. each we for each other. And she danced in full circle. So, ya tu sabe. Keep rising to the top as you come full circle. And keep rising to the top. It's not just the name of your company, it's how you feel about everybody in the community because they rise to the top with you. And thank you for doing the work that you do. We love you. Aww, I love you guys too. Wait, what's the Instagram? KR3TS. Uh, yeah. Make sure you give it a follow and support and donate and all that beautiful stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Violet. Peace. Thank you guys. Repping and stepping to the future. Mm -hmm. Quick to rock. All out. Peace. The party's not over, no se acabo, trust me. But the show is. So, we want to take a moment and thank our superstar dancers from KR3Ts in El Barrio and the founder and choreographer, the queen herself, Violeta Galagarza. We want to congratulate her also on another year of shows because she just had an anniversary show not too long ago. And we want to thank the legendary Grand Wizard Theodore. Yo, he Salute. graced us with his skills and inspiring testimony of his life in hip-hop. I'm saying, He's that, the was, pioneer. that was a blessing you know I mean? for our Pioneer to scratch. And, of course, we want to thank CRNY, Creatives Rebuild New York, and BronxNet for helping us to get this dream on its feet. So don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Instagram so you can know who's coming next for the next episode. In the meantime, stay funky, stay connected to the underground. You can follow me uh, at La Roca Fela, Instagram and my Twitter. And you can follow DJ KS360 on Instagram and my SoundCloud. Yup, see you next time on Quick to Rock, Quick uh. to Rock. Peace and hair grease.